Welcome to this time of prayer and meditation where we seek God's voice for our lives in the time of silence. I invite you to find a place to sit comfortably, to slow your breathing, and potentially to close your eyes as an aid to keep the distractions of the world from entering into this time. During this session, there will be a reading from our scriptures, followed by a time of silence. Maybe a word in the reading has spoken to you, and you can use that word to center your thoughts. If not, a word will be displayed on your screen for you. After the time of silence, there will be a prayer. So don't worry about the length of the silence, as the prayer will mark the end of that time. Following that prayer, there will be a second prayer that will include the petitions that have been submitted to prayers at holycrossburlington.ca. If there is someone that you wish to add to our prayer list, then please do email us at prayers at holycrossburlington.ca. After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering, and set it out and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father, Abraham, Father? And he said, Here I am, my son. He said, the fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham! And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So the Lord so Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided.
O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus the Christ. Amen. Mighty God, your Son Jesus brought healing and wholeness to all. Bring your healing presence to all who are sick or in pain, especially Abby, Aidan, Alex, all health care workers, all in Halton and around the world living with COVID-19, Astor, Cal, Carol, Carolyn, Celeste, Colleen, Frida, Hedda, Ingo and Sandra, Irene and Brooke, Erwin, Janice and Sheila, Jarlene, Jesse, Lori and Ed, Natalie, Ray, Richard, Rose and Herman, the self-employed who are facing the stress of severely reduced income as the virus impacts their business. Shelley, the unemployed and underemployed. Valerie, Wayne, and all whom we hold in our hearts. Grant hope. To all who are discouraged or in despair. Drive away all suffering. Give us a firm hope and strengthen our trust in you. Through Jesus the Christ. Amen.